Hi, so here's some help with CPM 1-7. Um, if you're in Algebra 1, this should be mostly review of old concepts that you've done before, so I'm not going to give a whole big lesson on every single problem. Um, if you need more help than what I give in this video, be sure to ask me if I'm your teacher or whoever your teacher is. Ask them for more help if you need it. Um, so starting off with A, negative 42 plus negative 17, two negative numbers. You just add the numbers together and keep that negative, so your answer is negative 59. B, 8 minus negative 9. When you have a minus and a negative next to each other, you can basically just make them go away and make them a plus. So it's like saying 8 plus 9. So that is 17. Um, 8, and then with the parenthesis negative 9, that's like saying 8 times negative 9, which is negative 72. Um, for D, we have negative 42 divided by negative 7. A negative divided by a negative is a positive answer. And 42 divided by 7 is 6. So it'll be a positive 6. I had to think about that for just a second, make sure. <laughs> um, okay, so this one says negative 2 times negative 3 times negative 4. Remember, parentheses just mean multiply. Um, so negative 2 times negative 3 is positive 6, and then positive 6 times negative 4 is going to be negative 24 for your answer. And for F, we have negative 18 minus 7. That's going to be negative 25. You're starting negative 17 and then going 7 more negative on your number line. Um, so G, we've got negative 5 squared. So the key thing here is that it's in parentheses. So that means we're doing um, negative 5 times negative 5. That's what negative 5 squared means, which is a positive 25, okay? This one is a little different because it doesn't have the parentheses. So when we have uh, our order of operations, that means we have to use the square first. So 5 squared is 25, and then we stick on the negative. Now, that's really tricky because typically, if someone were to say, what's negative 5 squared? you would say it's 25. Like that's the right answer to negative five squared. But remember, um, the parentheses do matter, especially if you're putting it in your calculator. Because if you put this in your calculator without the parentheses, it's gonna give you negative 25. And a lot of times what you actually mean to put in your calculator is this when you're solving problems. So um, make sure you know the difference between those, okay? All right, and last one, the square root of 49 is seven. It's just asking, what times itself gives you 49, seven times seven is 49. So hopefully that helped you with one dash seven.